All right, I am back again, and this time with an actual timely horror manga review of Ito Junji's newest release, The Liminal Zone. First off, I'm not going to give any spoilers in here, but I will talk about the themes of the four short stories in here, but I'm not going to give any of the plot lines away. Okay, first off, The Liminal Zone. Uh, in Japanese, it's Genkai Chitai. Genkai Chitai, which Chitai does mean zone, and Genkai doesn't really mean liminal. You know, liminal is like that phase between, that transitionary pe period between two things, like between life and death, or uh, real and the imaginary. But uh, Genkai here, it kind of means enigmatic, or occult-like, or secretive. It's got a little bit of a different meaning there. But anyways, the English title is The Liminal Zone, and it contains four short stories here. Um, if you don't know the background of this, this was actually released last April of 2020 through Line Manga. Of course, uh, Line is kind of the WhatsApp of Korea and Japan. And they have a lot of other services, like manga services. So it was exclusive through there for a year. I didn't read it because I don't use line manga. And then it was released by Asahi Shimbun Publishing uh, in tw March 23rd, 2021. So last week. I or, Actually, someone on my Ito Junji, on an Ito Junji uh, Discord page I was on in a room on a server that I was in mentioned the release date and I was like oh whoa that's today so I actually ordered it on the release date and got it the next day um, read it this past week and I did really enjoy it one cool thing here is that uh, there's an afterword a postscript where Ito Junji explains how he came up with the ideas for these four short stories um, first of all uh, what he had done here, let's get rid of this Obi. This Obi talks about some anime adaptations of Junji Ito's coming up soon. I'll talk about that at the end. Uh, but at any rate, yeah, there's four stories in here. In that postscript, he explains that he had gone through some old notebooks where he had jotted down ideas for different stories, and then he had found four kind of stories in those old notebooks and then built stories around them to adapt into these here. Uh, the English titles I'm giving for these stories are my translations, so I'm sure the official translations will be different. But the first story here da, 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 is the Naki Mezaka. Naki means cry, me or ona means woman, and saka, zaka means hill or slope. So the crying woman slope the story doesn't that the title doesn't make a lot of sense until you read the story, but the this was actually based on a practice that was done in Japan in the past and other countries as well about a crying woman, and also based on this kind of wordplay around this enka style. There's an enka singing or classical Japanese singing style that uh, is related to the term uh, namida michi or the tear road, road of tears talking about this kind of these kind of lines you get in your face from crying profusely and he adapted these into a story uh, that was a really fun story the second story is titled madonna but it's a play on words with the kanji the chinese the japanese you know chinese characters so ma is magic do is anger and na or ona is woman so the magical angry woman However, in Ito Junji's notebook, the original play on words was ma, magic, and dana, husband. So quite different, but then he changed it, adapted it into this magical angry woman Madonna. And of course, based on the title Madonna, it has something to do with uh, Catholicism. It's some Catholic theme running through that. The, wait, I bookmarked that even, it looks like that. The third story in there is set in a place that you've probably heard of before, Aokigahara. Remember? Aokigahara is the suicide forest near the foot of Mount Fuji. You know, where the whole was one of the Logans, the Logan Paul, got in trouble for the filming of the dead body type. Yeah, that place. But this is Aokigahara no 
Ryu. Ryu means flowing spirits. So the flowing spirits of Aokigahara. Um, this was originally, a, he had written down in his notebook, was originally a kind of a sci-fi story that uh, was based on the idea of future humans being more streamlike. But uh, it was a little bit too sci-fi for this release, so he decided to add some supernatural elements to it to make it fit his, you know, the Junji Ito style that we know and love a little bit better. And then the final story was called uh, Madoromi, which means slumber or a deep sleep. And in his notebook, he had uh, didn't have much of a story, but it was just basically the concept. And the concept was that uh, there's a moment when you wake up when you're in complete bliss, like this kind of state of bliss. But then that contrasts with the moment, the next moment where you're actually awake and the horror sets in of reality and life and the struggles therein. So that kind of dichotomy between those two states. And then he built a story around that idea. All right, those are the four stories in Ito Junji's newest release, The Liminal Zone. I dug this a lot. I can say I did enjoy Venus in the Blind Spot, which was released last year a little bit better, but these four stories are solid. Probably for classical Japanese horror, I like the first story about the crying woman the best because it had all the important elements of a traditional Japanese horror story. It was set in the countryside. There's something supernatural or someone supernatural there. And then ordinary people enter some sort of extraordinary situation. But as far as impact goes, I really like the third story, The Flowing Spirits of Aokigahara, because it was just so weird. It's just such a weird story, and it was memorable, memorable. So if you have a chance, pick up The Liminal Zone. It is out in Japanese now. I'm sure it will be out because Asahi Shinbun picked it up. I'm sure it's probably going to be released by Viz Media here in English soon. Um, and I'm also sure that the English translations of the titles will probably be different than my dumb ones. Uh, here on the obi, or the advertisement on the front of the manga, um, it says there's going to be an anime adaptation of some of his stories coming soon. Um, we have a picture of Tomie here. We have a picture of Soichiro here. So um, we also have a picture here of some characters from this story, but I don't think they're related to the anime. So, um, I actually have some inside information about that, but I cannot reveal it now because I don't want anyone to get in trouble. And I'm sure there's going to be uh, press releases about any anime adaptation of Junji Ito soon. All right. Thanks, everyone who subs, likes, and shares. I do it for you, homies, and I will be back again soon. Matane.